you want to make sure of when you start before you fillet a fish is the knife itself. If you've noticed a fillet knife, it's not a big, heavy, thick piece of steel. It's flimsy, and that flimsiness is directly related to your ability to fillet a fish. Not only that, but the fillet knife needs to be extremely sharp. A dull knife is one of the most dangerous things to use, to not only clean fish, but to clean animals as well. Now, one other thing that's very imperative when it comes to cleaning a fish is to make sure that your surface is flat and smooth. The reason that it needs to be flat and smooth is because at a later time, whenever we go to actually fillet the meat off the bone, we are going to use this flimsy knife to contour to the shape of the table. If, that, if the surface you're cleaning on is bumpy and rigid and uneven, you are going to mess up your fillet. It needs to be flat and smooth in order to effectively glide through the meat. What we're going to do is we're going to insert an incision basically right behind the pectoral fin of the fish and we're going to cut straight down until we feel bone. On a very sharp knife it requires very little effort to do so. You're going to maintain an angle such as approximately 15 to 20 degrees and you're going to maintain this angle all the way through till you get to the end of the fish. So what I'm going to do is a, slip, a gently slow rocking motion and I am actually cutting through I can feel the knife blade cutting through rib bone, and that's okay. But if you notice the angle of the knife, it continues to go through all the way until the tail is reached. This is the point in time when I was telling you that it's important to have a smooth surface. Because now, what we've done is effectively scraped with that knife at this angle. We've eff effectively come in, and at this angle, we've basically separated the flesh of the fish from the vertebrae. Now, we're going to use the same angle that we used prior. We're going to insert, and, and the angle is very important. And what we will do is, using a gentle sawing motion, we will get to about this point, to which time I will press and hold the skin against the table. And using this angle, I will gently come back and forth, and letting the sharpness of the knife separate the flesh from the skin. Is, as you can see, the rib cage is still intact. And these rib bones, a lot of people will want to cut straight down. That's the wrong thing to do because the rib bones actually come back and extend into this part of the flesh. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to make a nice, gentle incision right here. And then we're going to use the tip of the knife and invert and come back and fillet the opposite way. And as you can see, these fine bones that extended up into there are no longer there and you're left with a perfect boneless fillet. Change, flip them around, basically the same process goes. You're going to make a cut straight down, come in, hardest part is getting started. We will come back using the same angle. Again, contouring the blade to the table. Again, the rib cage to be cut out. Separation of the rib of the rib bones one way. Invert the knife, fillet the opposite way using the same angles as before, and you're left with a perfectly boneless fillet.